Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP script and in this video we will learn how to set the various options depends upon the requirement. Suppose I am running the program, driver program which is calling the SAP script. I am giving input. I suppose I am giving order number one. I am clicking on to execute button. We are passing the device name and we are clicking on to print preview button. Then we are able to see the output. Now what customer is saying? Whenever customer will give the input of the order number, directly, directly the output should come. Customer do not want this pop-up. Customer do not, customer will not pass the output device. Customer will not click on to print preview button because customer always want to reduce the number of clicks. So we need to automate this process. Means whenever customer will give the input of the order number, Directly, directly, we will get the output. This pop-up will not come. So it means we will automate three things here. Firstly, we will remove this pop-up. So we will write the logic to remove this particular pop-up. We will write a logic to pass the device LP01 with the help of coding. Yes, it depends upon the project, but the output device they have in our current system, it is LP01. Now we will write a logic to set the print preview to true. So these three things, now we will write the code because customer will not go for these actions now. So we will go for, or we will check what are the various options which will help us to achieve this particular requirement. Now, what I will do, I will just go for this open underscore form function module, which is used to open the script. Now you can see we have a parameter here, dialog, dialog. I am uncommenting this parameter. What is the value of this parameter? What is by default value? The by default value of this parameter is capital X. Capital X means true. True means the pop-up will come. But we do not want the pop-up. So we will set it to space. Space means what? False, false. This is the confusion and yes, so many freshers will do the mistake here because they will simply compare it to smart form. In case of smart form, the name of the parameter was no dialog, no dialog. It means we do not want dialog. So we set it to capital X because we do not want the dialog pop up here. The parameter name is dialog, dialog. It is not no dialog. Dialog means what? Yes, if we are setting it to X, X means dialog will appear. Pop-up will appear. But we do not want that. So we simply, simply put it to space. Now we will go for other two things. Now other two things are in the options option. So I will just here options is exporting. It means in this function module, options will be the part of importing options. Options is of this type. So I will double click. It is a structure. Now what is the second thing we want to do? We want to pass the output device LP01. And you can see we have a component here, TD test. 
So we will simply, simply pass into LP01. And after that, we want the preview to be true. It should be automatically ticked. And you can see we have a column name TD preview, TD preview. So we will simply, simply set it to TD preview also equal to capital X. So we will write the logic for the same. Now, in, I will simply uncomment the options. In front of options, I will write some work area. I declared LWA underscore options. The type of LWA options is same as that of option. So how I can check? I will double click. Options is of this type. So I will copy and I will declare in my program. I will write data LWA options type this. And whenever you will double click, it is a structure. That's why I declared in terms of work area. Now we will set the two properties. LWA underscore options. We will see what is the name of the first column. The name of the first column is TD test. So I will copy this TD test and I will write the logic in the program. TD test will be LB0. Now I will go to second column, LWA options. I will check for the preview. What is the component name? TD preview. So I will simply, simply put it to capital X. So we want to go for three things and we have set all the three things. Firstly, we put dialog is equal to false because we do not want dialog pop-up. Then we set the destination school output device to LP01 output device. And we put TD preview is equal to capital X, capital X means true. Now I will activate. I will put a breakpoint and show you in the debugging mode how the values are passing to this open underscore form function module. I will go for order number one. I'll go to desktop three. LWA underscore options. You can see as of now, everything is blank. I'm doing F6. And you can see TD test LP01. I'm doing F6. You can see TD preview is equal to capital X. Now these all things we are passing it to open underscore form function module. And whenever I will execute, you can see we directly got the output. So there's no pop-up. There's no need to put the device. There's no need to click on to the print preview button. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we took the requirement that how we can set the various options. As of now, we took one simple requirement. Customer do not want pop-up. Customer will not put the device name. Customer will not click on to print preview button. So we have a parameter dialog. We set it to false. The default value was X. We set it to space because we do not want dialog. We put the TD test means school output device to LP01. And there was a column TD preview. We put it to capital X because preview should be automatically picked. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.